So first things first, I actually applied off camera one coat of this color. This is gel color number 38 from Ugly Duckling Nails. I applied the first coat, now I'm leaving this second coat wet because we're going to do a wet on wet technique to help create some of the background wood grain. So I'm just applying this number 38 and now I'm picking up some number 65 gel polish and I'm working that into the wet layer of the number 38 color gel. And this is helping create some um, texture in the background before we hand paint our wood grain effect. Then I'm taking number 65 gel polish and I've mixed it with some tacky top to create a sheer brown. And then I'm going in with that color and my painter brush and I'm starting to create the knots of the, the wood. Um, you can see the picture in the upper right corner is a picture I got off Google that I'm using for some inspiration and just kind of following loosely um, the design that they have there. This is actually just a wood grain stencil that I googled and it gave this image. So Google is your best friend sometimes for reference photos. You guys can see also using the painter brush here I'm applying um, heavy and light pressure in areas and this just adds variation to the veining um, and the wood grain that we're creating. So when I start creating the vertical lines, I'm actually following the shape of the um, knots that we created first, and then I'm going to go ahead and cure this layer. Now I'm going in with my striper brush and that same uh, translucent brown gel polish color that we mixed, and I'm using very, very little product on my brush and pretty much the tip of my brush mostly to start creating fine lines in between the knots that we've created. This is, this is going to create that more fine kind of uh, wood grain in between the heavier knot areas. And I'm just using the very tip here, very little gel on my brush, leaving some space in between each line um, as much as possible. Some, some of my lines touch a little bit and that's okay, but for the most part, just try and keep some space in between each line that you create. That top corner, I'm kind of creating a small knot also. Now I'm going back over those original knots that we created and I'm actually adding a little bit more detail, still using my striper tube brush and still using that translucent uh, brown gel polish shade that we made. And this is just gonna add more detail and help make our wood grain look even more realistic. Once I've cured that other layer, I'm going to go back now and I'm sealing with our Ugly Duckling Matte Top Coat, doing a full cure and using gel cleanse to remove that inhibition layer once it comes out of the lamp. So now we're getting into hand painting our word joy. So I'm going to start with the O in the middle. I'm, um, whenever I hand paint lettering, I always start with the center letter or letters and that way I can kind of figure out my spacing on either side. So I started with the O in this case and I'm just doing this very, very roughly. But if you'll notice, I'm using pretty much just the tip of my brush and I'm doing this very, very fine. That way this gives us room when we go back over it to enhance the letters and, and clean them up a little bit more. It'll give us wiggle room to make the letters a little bit larger. If we start with a large outline to begin with then um, the letters may become too chunky and too heavy and they may um, run together too closely we want a little bit of separation to make it look like it's handwritten on the on the nail so now I'm going back and I didn't cure um, the word joy before I'm going back now and um, just adding more gel to make it thicker and apply more product to the nail so we can actually sugar it in the next step so our word joy will be textured on the surface of the nail I'm using Ugly Duckling White Art Gel, and uh, this is my Detailer 2 brush, I believe. This is one of my favorite brushes in the whole line. Uh, Detailer 2 is a bit shorter than the striper, so I have a bit more control. My brush isn't going to kick out on me when I'm going around these corners. But you can see I'm just taking it step by step very slowly. I'm not doing each letter in one foul swoop or... Um, uh, doing it all at once. I'm very much breaking it into sections, especially when I get into those curved sections. Now I've left the word uncured so we can sugar it. I'm sugaring it here with some translucent glitter, tapping off the excess, making sure there's no uncured uh, shiny gel seeping through, and then we're gonna pop it in the lamp for a cure. 
Once fully cured, you're going to take it out of the lamp, dust off that excess powder or glitter, and your joy nail is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this rustic Christmas inspired design. Um, many of you asked how I did the handwriting, so I hope this helps you. And if you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on social media. I'm always happy to help whenever I can. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and until next time, take care.